All right. And that one you can go all the way around. Uh, it's a Claris F22. I believe I, uh, to get the core out, I, I really had to hack apart. I oh, know, it's, it's pretty embarrassing how badly that had to be hacked apart. Um, five rows. Let's see if I can make some room here. Five rows of pins. I'm, I should have kept better track of how many how many pins there were in total, but we're about to find out, right? Um, looks like that special key there. All right. Uh, I'll start at the far right side. So this is the bottom when it goes into this. All right. So this will be the far right. And uh, most of these covers should come off pretty easy. I sanded them a little bit. But, uh, oops. Okay, four pins in here. That is the far right, okay. Um, spool. Bard. I think they're all spools. Spool. Spool. And the spring is pretty well attached to there, so I haven't I haven't chucked any of these yet. Ah, oh, come on. Where the spring and the driver pin go flying. It's always fun. I really should have cleaned this thing because it's it's dirty. And I'll show you something about the key pins that may be of interest later. Oops, I think this goes like this. Yeah, pretty sure. right near center five pins spool 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 and Okay, well, maybe this back one will come out. Really? There we go. Three. Oh boy. All right. All right. Let's ignore that it happened. I'll get the pin still in there. There we go. <laughs> this is the one I think might be tough to get off, off of there. Snuggly. There we go. Oops. Rotate back around. 
Oh, shucks, mangled that spring a little bit. Spool. 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 boys in there. Man, get out of here. What is all this crap? A bit of keys are chopped off. That's what it is. Okay, now middle left. Four in here. Spool. Spool, spool, spool. Okay, and the leftmost chamber, or uh, row, five, that's five, ten, five, ten, for the 22 pins, I think. Oh, of course, uh, F22, that would make sense, wouldn't it? I do. <laughs> Sometimes I have my special moments, everybody. Sometimes I do. Something of a caveat to that uh, 22 pin thing, though. I mean, there are definitely 22 pins in here. The pin stacks. But perhaps for the sake of mastering? Question mark? You've seen a number of these guys, which appear to just be a blocking pin. I think the function of this thing is it sits in there and doesn't, it doesn't drop all the way down like this one does. Whoops. Let me get the last one out. Doesn't drop all the way down like this one does. Uh, so I don't think it goes all the way into the chamber and therefore does not have to be picked. Now let's see if I can get this clip off. Everybody knows I've recently had a difficulty with uh, a clip or two. Oh, where's my clippy removey? Where's my job? I've never taken this off before, so I'm assuming. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, well, it bent a little bit. That's okay. Stuff happens. Okay, and there is some kind of... Oh, that's just tell me. Some kind of uh, ball bearing in here. Oh, okay, there's one. Hmm. All right. There's a bearing detent. And that must be speed drill protection. And we see, oh, all kinds of space for, uh, looks like construction keys, uh, or at least two rows of them. Um, yeah, look at that guy. That's something else, right? Uh, I don't see any extra milling or anything like that. Here we can maybe, maybe we can test this, uh, Thing I'm suspecting is a blocking pin. Oops. Actually goes this way. I don't know if it matters. 
Boop. Yep, sure enough. So I would have to conclude that those are for mastering. They don't want to leave a chamber vacant because it would make this thing like impossible to gut or repin or service. So um, I think that's probably why they put those blocking pins in and probably for mastering purposes. Um, cool, cool lock. Um, you know, the key looks awesome. Um, really hard to gut though. I mean, these three hardened steel pins, I went at them with a drill for several minutes. It's supposed to be a drill that, uh, drill bit that goes through hardened steel, didn't touch them, um, tried all kinds of things and finally just went to, uh, a, a Dremel and cut away everything I could, but that doesn't really impact the, uh, core much. I mean, it scratched the core a little bit, but um, the actual locking component of the lock uh, was unaffected, at least picking-wise. So, anyway, there's your uh, Clavis F22. There it is.